never been a Lululemon purchaser. Yes, I'm a personal trainer. Yes, I live in leggings every single day of my life. I cannot justify a $120 pair of leggings to sweat in. Hey Fit Babes, thanks so much for stopping by my channel. I really appreciate it. My channel is usually all about helping beginners who are new to fitness, making fitness fun and exciting and easy for them to incorporate into their life. But today, thought I'd make a little bit of a switch. I wanna talk about Black Friday because, well, it's coming up. I don't know about you, but I'm getting so many emails with like promos and deals and like all these new launches that are happening and it's just a little overwhelming, right? I want to give you guys a completely honest, unsponsored review of a brand called Buff Bunny Collection. There are some things that I like and dislike about the brand, so stay tuned to watch all the details about it. But because I'm not sponsored, that means I don't have the actual collection. If you are looking to buy some cute athletic wear on Black Friday, I'll give you kind of my summary of someone with my body shape and my experience with their specific brand. And that way you can kind of make your own judgment call on if you want to look into it further and make any purchases yourself. Most of her leggings, like, yeah, you can work out in, but honestly, I use a lot of her leggings in photographs and on my social media. And every time I wear something that's buff bunny, I get someone who's like, hey, what is that? Where is that from? They love it. Everybody thinks it's super, super cute. It stands out. It makes a statement. It's bold um, without being like too much, right? So it's going to make you feel confident wearing it and it's going to make you feel really pretty. So those, like, I love that about it. There's a lot of different brands online that don't have physical stores. They just sell their fitness clothes online. So Gymshark is a very, very big one at the top of the umbrella. And then a lot of the other ones that have popped up from influencers over the years. I can't buy from everything and I'll just buy the things that really, really stand out to me and really make an impression. There's three things I like about the brand. Buff Bunny is a really nice balance between paying $120 for some leggings and getting the cheap Amazon things that are like, are they gonna last me? Most of their leggings will run about $60, 62, 64, something like that. And most of their sports bras are around like that $30 mark. So extremely doable, especially when there's a sale going on. This sports bra that I have on, it was $15 you guys. Two, I love her messaging and I think that it's important to be body positive in this industry and it's very very difficult when you watch a lot of these like you know let's say you go to your you follow a fitness influencer she doesn't even have your body shape and so it constantly makes you feel bad about yourself and so when they launch a product and you look at the outfits on them and you're like wow that looks amazing I want it it's so beautiful and then when you get it it just doesn't look the same Okay, so Buff Bunny is actually one of the very, very few brands that I have come across that includes every body shape. She's got all the way from like extra, extra small, I think, or just extra small, all the way to triple XL. And on her, in her campaigns, on the website, in her social media, you can see these different body shapes. You can see tall, you can see short, you can see big, you can see small. You can see muscular, you can see people with cellulite, and like it just speaks to the every girl, which is something I'm all about, and I feel extremely confident giving my money to a company that does that. The third thing, she tends to be very, very creative with her campaigning. Not that this is a reason to buy from the products itself, but I am a very creative person. I actually really appreciate when there's some kind of story or message that's deeper than, oh, we just thought this would sell. Right now on Black Friday, she's releasing one called Frozen. She was, <laughs> she went to Alaska, which is her hometown, and like, put a ballerina on a glacier because she was like, you know, I've never seen this done and I, I really appreciate and love the creativity about that. Um, so most of her stuff all follows a same theme. So it's not just like picking colors that all work together for the season, but it's like picking patterns. Like the details are everything with her and that's something I really appreciate. Now I don't buy from every single collection. I definitely have become a little bit more picky with what I purchase because I have learned what I like and what I don't like about the brand. I kind of like stick to 
stick to things that look good on me, that look flattering, instead of just buying things because I'm like, oh, that looks cute on this one girl who completely doesn't look like me, and then I get it, and I'm like, what the heck? Why doesn't it look like that on me? The way that these brands work most of the time is they, about two weeks before they release a launch, they have a group of girls that are their like sponsored athletes, they have promo codes, and basically their job is to get the free products and talk about it on their social media and on their YouTubes. Typically they will do a try on haul, they'll do sizing, they'll do color combos, and just giving you all the nitty gritty details that you need to know before it goes live. And they're so good at creating urgency, and knowing that it's a limited stock, I think Buff Bunny has done a really, really good job at providing a little bit more than some other ones like uh, the Gymshark and Whitney collection. Low key, I did try. I was on the site like five minutes before. Two minutes into the launch, I was sitting in a queue waiting to purchase and everything sold out. Buff Bunny will not have that usually happen. Yes, there are things that are more popular that may sell out really quickly, but it's not as, um, limited of a quantity so you definitely have more opportunity so here are my measurements I'm not gonna go over all the nitty-gritty of like each specific legging because it's not gonna do you any good because every single collection she releases is completely different yes sometimes the fabrics are similar but I don't exactly know what the fabrics are gonna be and so I don't want to like waste your time speaking of that what I do want to speak of is my body type and what to look for when you are buying online clothes, specifically if you're trying to purchase Buff Bunny for the first time, what to buy, what not to buy, what to watch out for, all that jazz. All right, so let's jump into that. Something that you need to know is I am a personal trainer. I live in leggings every single day, so it is important for me to have a good pair of leggings. I have large hips, large thighs, I have like, a booty. I've got curves and my waist is somewhat small. My shoulders are pretty small. So up top, I'm always usually a small. My bottoms are always going to range between like a medium. I don't think I've, I don't think I've ever gotten anything that's a large at Buff Bunny. Number one, if you are trying to find seamless leggings, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. A lot of the buff, buff bunny stuff that I've purchased over the years, none of them are seamless right here. None of them. Like, they all got that straight line going to the crotch. I'm not sure if she's going that route, but a lot of companies like Gymshark will do leggings that do not have a seam in the middle because you don't want camel toe. Like, who does? <laughs> you don't want to be doing that in the gym. Like, right after you do some deadlifts or some squats on a leg press machine, and then you're like tugging at your, it's just, it's just not fun. All right. Other than that though, the, the material is so silky soft. So if you are looking for something bold, something that you'll, you're gonna get eyes turning on you, that's what the, these are kind of for. I know in this new collection she does have a pair of leggings that has this like little curvy thing right on your thighs It comes from the outer thigh inward and it like goes down I don't know what the material is so I can't really speak to it But she's done that quite a few times not necessarily that design But like this is one of the first pairs of leggings I bought from her these leggings Have these little lines, but there's mesh in between mesh can sometimes cause me issues as I have like bigger thighs. If you're doing things that are like squats and stuff, sometimes they can like squeeze a little bit. And the hard part is if you feel my pain, it's hard sizing up because it's gonna fall down your waist. It's hard sizing down because then you get the squeeze. Anything that's like in the front that's going to cut in diagonal ways, it's just, it's just not, it's not for me, right? I try not to buy those anymore. I've learned my lesson the hard way, and I actually bought a few things like that. Just be aware that if you've got thick thighs like me, you may wanna stay away from anything that's gonna have a seam that's not seamless, you know, in the front region, because you wanna stay away from those lines. Other big thing to mention, 
is I have noticed with most of her things that are light colored, they tend to be very thin fabrics. Like this one, for example, it was one of her popular ones called the Allure. The only thing is, is if you are a girl with cellulite, if you've got a donk, <laughs> if you got a boot, do people still say donk? It is natural for us to have cellulite if you're wearing something that's really light colored. I don't have to worry about squat proof with Buff Bunny. I will say that. Buff Bunny knows how to make things squat proof. My butt does not show. My underwear does not show. But what does show is all the bumps. So if you've got cellulite down your, like under your butt and things like that, you will be able to see them in lighter colors. This one's the marble. Oh my God. Oh my God. I was obsessed with these and I was so happy. I got them in white and black and they have little pockets on the side. Love them. These have lasted through all of my washes and over the years and cannot complain about these. It's white on the inside, which doesn't show my butt, but what it does show is like, as you do a squat, it's just white everywhere. The material stretches, see how it turns? Not a fan of that. For the most part, because I appreciate the quality of her stuff and the price point, I keep buying. And the colors and the patterns and like, everything about it is very beautiful. Okay, you guys, so I changed my top just to give you a little bit different take. The other tops I have are very, very loose. Um, they're flowy. Um, they're the types that like I love to tie up. So I'm not the girl that's gonna walk around the gym in a sports bra. I just, I've never been that person. I think it sometimes can call a little too much attention and I don't feel very comfortable with it. Um, but what I tend to do is I'll like put on a top and like tie it up and make it look cute and make it look like a crop top. So that's what I tend to do with her stuff. So I've got, these two like tank tops um oh gosh so this is the back of it really cute and the front is super simple the only thing i've noticed is that this black has slowly slowly turned into gray and i love that it gives room in the back so that you can see your sports bra so she does a lot of details like that in her tank tops where you can see the back so that you can see the sports bras biggest issue I've got sometimes is the padding in the bras they'll get like these little lines around here and it's like so uncomfortable like you don't want to you don't want to see that line you want to make it look like it's effortless and smooth that's the one thing that I'll say is a little bit weird about some of their tops. Now, when it comes to sports bras, I have some that are like matching from like collections. It's called Rosé. The line was Rosé and it's just glitter. Wasn't my favorite, to be honest with you. See how it starts coming off? So I was disappointed. I'm actually wearing the leggings and the entire butt had like glitter on it. It no longer looks the same. It's like very much like faded off. It just doesn't look nice anymore. So I don't wear it to the gym or anything. It just kind of sits in the back of my closet. But the sports bra, I still wear and it's pretty cute. You know, has this little back detail. If, if, if it's something that's printed on, like this looks like it's a very, it's a printed on pattern. If it's a printed on pattern, it's going to wash off. Something like this, this is marble, and it was in, it's in the material, so it's not coming off. Like it, this is here to stay. I've washed my marble stuff like so many times. I have leggings, white, black, and I've got this top, I've got a black sports bra, and none of them have ever come off. So yeah, I definitely think it's helpful to see it from a perspective of someone who is not attached to the brand, has no affiliation, no codes, no nothing. Someone who has bought from her for multiple years and see the transformation of the clothes and how they last in the wash, how they last for workouts. Um, and you know, years later, am I still wearing the leggings? Yeah, most of them. Some of them I'm not, but for the most part, a lot of them I still am. I would say just be cautious of like your body type. If you fall, if you have like my shape, look for things that are gonna be very flattering. For me, I like the things that are a little more tight and compressive, um, even for like, like normal. Like I don't like the light to medium coverage. I like the tight, I like it to feel like I'm not, I'm not getting out of this thing, okay? I like to feel that when I'm in the gym. I feel like it gives me some, some security and some comfort and knowing that nothing's gonna pop out. You know what I'm saying? 
other than that, like find something that's a dark color, um, find something that's not gonna have a lot of details in the front of your legs because that can sometimes distract and actually cause you to not feel as comfortable even though you think it looks kind of cool it may not look cool on you um, so there's that but again everybody is shaped differently so let me know in the comments below have you ever tried buff bunny and if you have what has been your favorite piece that they've that you've bought all right, you guys, so I hope everybody has a great rest of your day. Make sure to subscribe if you like the content and follow me over at Body by Christina for more of these leggings. Bye.